Thomas here with Much Props, going to give you another how-to video. Ignore the voice, I'm battling a sinus infection at the moment, but the builds must go on. I recently bought a Stormtrooper helmet, a Black Series Stormtrooper helmet on a Black Friday sale, and it was ridiculously low. Normally they're like close to $100, and I got it for like $40, uh, and I wanted to make some modifications to it to make it kind of unique. So I'm taking a different approach than normally just repainting or battle damaging. I am going to make a zombie Stormtrooper, uh, and I'm going to do it using some relatively simple hacks or modifications with Halloween items. Yeah. So today we are building a zombie stormtrooper. Let's get to building. I bought this helmet on Amazon during a Black Friday sale for around $40 and wanted to do some modifications to it. I got the brain mold and the skeleton mask from Spirit Halloween on sale. I thought all of this together would mash up to make a pretty good zombie without having to craft much of it from scratch. Anytime I use a cutting wheel, I make sure to wear my respirator with a face shield. I have had one of these cutting wheels explode on me, and had I not had my eye protection on, I would only have one eye right now. Safety first. All these props need to be sanded to help with the paint job later and to give a better connection while gluing the parts to each other.
Now time to cut up the brain and skull to fit in my openings. Purposefully cut it just a little bit bigger than it needs to be so I can get the fit just right. I also use my heat gun a little bit to bend it into a shape that better fits the inside of my helmet. Fill in the rest of the gaps once I glued it into place. I laid down some layers of hot glue. I also went over parts of the skull to make it look like chunks of skinless flesh on the bone. Mask off the eyes and hit everything with a couple of coats of white spray paint. I don't typically film this part because most of the time when I'm spray painting it's done at night and the lighting on my back porch isn't so great, but as I was setting it up I thought why not? Here I am spraying some shades of brown and black to give a base for the dirtiness my zombie trooper will have. And I purposefully oversprayed some red in the gaps to add a little blood drippage. Instead of trying to mask off all these parts, I just painted them by hand. It doesn't have to be super clean since it will all get dirtied up with more acrylics here in a minute.
To add the dirt and grime, I mix some black and brown with a little bit of water and cover the entire helmet. Then take a wet paper towel and wipe a lot of it off. I leave some spots heavier to randomize the dirt accumulation. You know, zombies don't really care how clean their helmets are. They just want brains. To add just another little detail at the end, I decided to add some wires and tubing coming out of the front opening. Assuming that there would be some sort of electronics in the respirator area, I also used a lighter to burn wire ends and add some laser marks. Successfully did not catch this helmet on fire. Hooray! are finished here is the end result overall I really like how this prop turned out um, it's got a lot of obvious dirt and grime and battle damage and even kind of made it to where like a bloody hand was reaching up for the intercom system just before turning to that zombie but uh, yeah it, it turned out pretty awesome I think uh, and it's just using a brain like jello mold that I found at a Halloween store and then a little uh, skeleton face that I added hot glue to to kind of give it that rotting flesh look uh, but overall I think it looks pretty awesome and believe it or not after the modifications I could actually fit the helmet on my big old head before it it wouldn't let me get past my my big old brow um, so removing some of the things in there kind of helped that out for the modifications but yeah Maybe you will try and make your own zombie trooper helmet and impress your friends with your ability to turn something pristine into something super dirty, grimy, and broken. Yeah.
Maybe I'll get some... And inevitably, they're gonna ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these and tell them much props. Breathe.